what is going on here. Bradley Beal can easily get up and guard the ball. There's no screen being set. Yet look at this. The Wizards act for some reason like there is. So now Anthony Davis rolls and is wide open for two. Soon as Dennis Schroeder picks up his dribble right here, this Wizards player needs to now be getting out to his man. Look at how look at how he just stands there and stands there and stands there. Now this player is wide open for three. Hey, this Wizards player needs to get way more aggressive in getting over and guarding a body. You're just standing in no man's land for way too long, so now you're going to give up an open three. You just can never guard like this. Look at this player's back. It's totally to his man. You have to be seeing the ball in your man at all times or this will happen. Okay, this is great defense on LeBron James. Once he gets in the post, you got to show your hands. Look at when you don't show your hands. Look how easy this is for LeBron James to spin off you. So now he's got a step on you. And now this fadeaway jumper is now possible. Uh, you need to get organized during a baseline out of bounds. Like if this player is guarding Anthony Davis, say I've got Anthony Davis so this player can go here. There's clearly no communication because whatever the heck that is just happened. You have got to step up and guard Anthony Davis at the three-point line. Get your feet set in a defensive stance. Look at this. You just keep backpedaling. Look, at you're not even guarding Anthony Davis till he's in the paint. It's too late at that point. Okay, Russell Westbrook picks his dribble up right now. This player is currently in no man's land. Now you get out to your man. Kristaps Porzingis is guarding the ball just fine. Instead, this player just stands there, stands there, then gambles, and now you give up an open three. It's the same thing. You've got to pick up Anthony Davis at the three-point line. Get your feet set in a defensive stance. Look, at Porzingis. You're just backpedaling and backpedaling, and now it's an and one. It has to stop, okay? You've got to... Get in a defensive stance with your feet set so you can slide with Anthony Davis instead of this, which is just backpedaling and backpedaling all the way into another layup. Too far under, okay? This is an easy ball screen to get over the top. I mean, just look at the space. You're, this is way too far under, so you're just letting Russell Westbrook walk right into an open jump. Okay, this Wizards player right here is going to gamble and not contest. Look at this gamble right there. See that swipe down? So now as opposed to getting your hands up and being able to contest this fadeaway, you can't because you gambled. Okay, if you double the post and this player cuts, this player's got to rotate to the cutter. And then this player rotates here, this player here, and then this player falls back here. Okay? But, um, yeah, about that first rotation. This player in the zone cannot be guarding nobody. You've got to get up here so this player can guard the ball here and this player can go here. When you have somebody guarding nobody in a zone, that means you're leaving somebody. If you're going to play the gaps like Bradley Beal is here, you cannot have to move your feet inward. Look at how his feet have to move inward. So now you are never getting back outward. Can't just give guards the lane. Get up and hedge. Get this guard out of the lane. Where's this player rolling to? The backside help is right here. The Laker spacing sucks. But nah, let's just give up a practice jumper. Cannot fall asleep on LeBron like this and still go under the screen. Look at this. Look how you fall asleep on LeBron. Look at the separation between you and LeBron. So obviously if you go under the screen, you're going to get under after LeBron, and now it's an alley-oop. This is an amazing amount of laziness by this Wizards player here. You Look at how much space you have to get over the top of this screen. You don't even move. What exactly is that? Can't give Anthony Davis this space here. Look at this. He just picked up his dribble now. Okay, so right now you should just bodying him up. Instead, all you do is have a hand on Anthony Davis. That's what makes this fadeaway possible, and you can't contest it. Not play the gaps if your feet are moving inward. Look at this player's feet. See how they're moving inward? Now you're not going to get out to LeBron in time. As you're getting out to LeBron... You're going uphill while LeBron's going downhill. That doesn't work. So now LeBron's going to just stick a jumper in your eye. What is this Wizards player doing? You cannot be standing in the paint. First of all, this player's guarding fine one-on-one. -on -one. You're in the paint while your man's in the corner. So now you're never, ever going to get out in time, and it's an open three. I mean, you just can't. When Russell Westbrook isn't moving anywhere, you can't move. Look at this dribble Russell Westbrook takes. He's not moving anywhere yet. Watch this Wizards defender fly the other way. So now you're crossed over, that draws a double team, and an easy Anthony Davis too. Not guard LeBron like this one-on-one. -on -one. Your feet have to be level to each other. When they're not level to each other, now LeBron, look at this rip through. Now LeBron's going to rip through and you're out of position. So now he's right to the basket for an and one. But why are you welcoming a double team here? You're guarding Russell Westbrook just fine. 
Why are you icing? There's no ball screen yet. You're icing. That means Porzingis has to guard the ball and can't guard Anthony Davis. So naturally, it's an open jumper. This gamble is just atrocious. You don't get it. Now the Lakers have numbers. Now LeBron's in the lane drawing help, and it leads to an open three. You have to get back so you can get your feet set and in a defensive stance. Is this Wizards player here's feet ever set? No. So LeBron is, of course, just going to destroy you. Cannot move your feet when the ball handler isn't. Look at this right here. Dennis Schroeder's not moving his feet at all. Yet look at you flying backwards. Now you're out of position. Now Schroeder's going to blow right by you. Draw help. Open Lakers three. This is precisely how you get killed in a zone, which the Wizards are doing right now. When two people guard one. When two people guard one, zero people guard another. And that other just happens to be LeBron James, who's now in the lane, draws help, Anthony Davis, and one. Get your feet set in a defensive stance. Look at this player's feet. They are never set. Even now, he's still backing up. So now LeBron's going to blow right past you. For two, Jesus. You can easily get over the top of this screen. My goodness, look at the space between the screener and ball handler. Here's how you don't get over the top of the screen. When you feel out a screen, see how you're feeling it out? Now you can't get over the screen. Now it's a two-on-one, and it's an easy Anthony Davis bucket. Cannot lean towards the screen. Look at you leaning towards the screen here. So now that forces Porzingis to have to guard the ball and not guard Anthony Davis, and there you go. Get your back to the baseline. So you're seeing ball and man. When your back is to the sideline like this, you are just begging for that to happen. Beat back door. Transition, it's just body on a body. This player's got to communicate. I've got this player, so this player knows to guard someone else. This will kill you in transition when two people guard one. Needless to say, that means somebody's wide open. If you're switching a ball screen, you have to get immediately underneath the screener. Look at this player. He does not get underneath the screener. So now Anthony Davis has him sealed, catch, and one.